And if you want to make the diagnosis of that kind of disorders, you need to have a biopsy of the affected area, meaning that a genetic test in the blood will not help at all because you won't find the mutation. If you want to have the diagnosis, you need to perform the biopsy in the affected seat. These disorders are in 99% of the cases present at birth. So meaning that the physician, the neonatologist that is going to do the first clinical exam should detect that kind of anomalies. If you have an asymmetrical overgrowth of a foot, of a hand, of a finger, it's not normal. You cannot say, oh, it's just due, due to uh, the pregnancy, it will recover in a few weeks. That's never the case, but that's always what I can hear from the patients. So if you see something that is abnormal at birth, you should refer to a center that knows, I would say, mosaic disorders. So it's more or less academic hospital, usually, that are uh, specialized in that kind of anomalies, vascular anomaly centers, or again, academic institution. The disease is worsening with age. In some exceptional cases, it remains stable, but that's relatively exceptional. In most of cases, it's growing with age. And it's even not ending at 18 years old when you stop your puberty. It's still developing after in the adulthood. We do have plenty of patients that are complaining at the age of 30 or 40 years old. I have even the feeling that with age, it's becoming worse and worse because, of course, the body cannot extend that much. But then the patients are complaining about a lot of pain, thrombotic event, and a lot of complications related to that kind of overgrowth. When you think about that kind of disorders, you should think about biopsy, biopsy of the affected tissues. So usually what we do is that we perform a punch biopsy, a skin biopsy of the affected area. You need to try to do the biopsy in a superficial vascular malformation. In, I would say that in 60 to 70% of the cases, this, that kind of patient with overgrowth syndrome have some skin capillary anomalies at the top of the epiderm. So you can do a biopsy there. So it's a four millimeter punch biopsy. It's not a big biopsy. And then you give this sample to a, a genetic department that is able to run and to check different type of genes involved in overgrowth syndrome. This is really uh, extremely important. And again, if you don't find the mutation, that does not mean that the mutation is not present. Maybe you did the biopsy not in the perfect area. Maybe the mosaicism rate is really low and you need to redo the biopsy in order to increase the chance to find the mutation.